Right, so in our video today, we're focusing on, again, some proportional relationships, but this time we're going to be looking at them on the graph. So all of those skills that we learned on how to um, fi figure out if a point is on a line or how to build a table of values with a rule, now we can actually put them onto the graph to kind of see what those graphs are going to look like. So as you can remember, our proportional relationships are always going to go through the origin, so you'll notice that all of the graphs that we do today are all going to go through that point zero zero, which is called our origin. So if you're given um, the directions of here's some points, put them on the graph and find the slope and figure out what the rule of the equation is, we want to check to see um, what, where the points are on the graph and then figure out what the slope is by figuring out the change in y over the change in x. Or again, remember we talked about how those words rise over run are going to come up most often. So in this first example, it says for each pair of points below, find the equation of the line that passes through them. So we're going to use the graph to help us here. This one tells us that a line passes through the points 1, 4, and negative 1, negative 4. So what is the equation of the line? So on this graph, the first thing we want to do is plot the point 1, 4, which will be right here, 1 on our x and 4 on our y. Our second point is negative 1, negative 4. So that's 1 to the left on our x axis and then 4 down on the y axis. So that gets us the two points that they asked us to plot. Next, you want to take a ruler and draw a line through those points really carefully. So I'm going to use the line tool on the computer here just to make it nice and straight so we can kind of see how that's looking. Um, but you want to be really precise when you're drawing this line to make sure that you're getting the correct slope. So now to figure out the slope, we want to use rise over run. So again, we talked about this last time, but if you think about rising, that means you're kind of standing up. Like if you're going to get rise from your chair, you're standing up. So that's moving you up and down. Whereas if you're running, you're probably running on a flat surface and you're not running up a wall. So rise is how far you're moving vertically and your run is how far you're moving horizontally. So from this point that we first plotted down to this point, we want to go up our rise, if we count all of those little blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. So my rise here is plus eight. So I'm going to fill in my rise as eight. My run is going to be how far I moved horizontally then to get to that point. So from that point where I stopped, one, two to the right. So my run is plus two because I moved to the right. So my rise was eight and my run was two. And all I have to do now is just simplify that fraction. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that will mean that the slope of my line is 4. So you can pick any point on this line to plug in to check to see what your slope is. So I could have picked um, this point and then a point down here. And this would have been up 4 over 1. But even if I do 4 over 1, that becomes 4 again. So my slope is 4. And because this graph is going through the origin, we know it's proportional, so we can use the rule y equals mx as our equation. So y will equal 4x is the rule for this particular line that goes through those two points. So in our next example, it says a line will pass through the points 8, 4, and 10, 5. What is the equation of the line? So again, your first step is to plot those points. So 8, 4 is right here and 10, 5, sorry, is right on the edge of your graph there. And then you want to take your ruler and you want to draw that line really carefully between those two points. So you want to line your ruler up to go through those points specifically. And I'm going to be careful with mine here, but it looks like they're going to go right there. And you can kind of see then that our line is going again through the origin. So we know that this is going to be proportional. To find our slope, remember we want to do our rise over the run. So we just want to go from two points to figure it out. So the rise here is just up one. So my rise is one, and then my run was plus two. So I'm going to put that over two. And if you simplify that fraction, it's just one half, or if you want to change it to a decimal, 0.5. That means slope is one half. Because this goes through the origin, it's proportional, so we're going to use the rule y equals mx. And our slope here is going to be y equals one half x. Or you can write it as y equals five tenths x. Either way, 
those two equations will show us that line. So other times you might be given the graph at first, but you have to figure out what the slope is. So it's kind of one less step than what we just had to do. So rather than you having to plot points, the lines are already there. So you can pick any two points on this graph to figure out what your slope is. My suggestion though is to pick points that are on the corner of grid lines. So for example, I wouldn't want to pick a point right here that's not in the middle of grid line because that's like three and a half, three and a half maybe, but you can't be super precise with that. However, if I pick the point 0, 0, and then maybe another point like up here, 4, 4, those would be two really good points because they're right on those intersecting lines and they're really easy to see what the values are. So we want to do our rise over run again. Our rise in this graph from this point to this point that I picked would be up 4, so adding 4. And then my run is over one, two, three, four spaces that way. So my rise was four and my run was four, and I just have to simplify that fraction. Four over four means four divided by four, which is one. So that's gonna mean my slope here is one. It did go through the origin, so we know that we can use the rule y equals mx. So to plug in my m, it would just be one. So y equals one x, but we also know that if you see a one in front of x, it's just the same as x, so the rule for this graph would have just been y equals x. So that basically means that every time you plug in an x value, that y value is gonna be the exact same number. And we saw that when we picked this point for four, x and y are the same. You could pick this point two, two, x and y are the same, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and try these two. If you wanna pause it and try it on your own, you're more than welcome to, but if you wanna keep watching, go ahead. So in order to find the equation, we need to first find the slope and by doing that, we just have to pick two points. It can be any points. So I'm going to plot all those possible points that would be good ones to pick. And then you can pick any two of those to find your slope. So you want to find your rise and your run. So I'm going to go all the way from this point up to the origin. So that means my rise is plus 2. And then my run from here to the origin is going to be plus 4. So if I choose those as my finding my slope, I'm going to do 2 over 4. And once you simplify that, 2 fourths becomes 1 half. This is going through the origin, so we can use y equals mx, but our slope here will be 1 half. So y equals 1 half x will be the rule for this. Now you could have picked just from this point, so plus 1, over to this point, and that would have just been 1 over 2 but we know that one over two is the same as what we just got. So it doesn't matter which two points you pick, you're gonna get the same slope either way because all of those fractions should reduce to the same number. So as long as you're picking points on the corner there, any of those would be fine. In the next example, again, you can pick any two points that are on the corners there. So any of these points that I'm highlighting here would be good ones to choose, and then you just have to narrow it down to two. I'm going to start at the origin this time and just go up to this point right here. So my rise is 2 and my run is just 1. So to figure out my slope, I'm going to say 2 over my run of 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2, so my slope here is going to be 2. This went through the origin, so we can use y equals mx since it's proportional. And we can say that y equals 2x is the rule for this graph. Now for this last one, sometimes you're given a line, or sometimes you are given the slope and the point, but you need to draw the graph. So they are only going to give you one point this time, but they do tell you what the slope is. So in order to do that, there's two strategies that we can use. The first strategy says to graph the point that they give you, and then use the slope to think about rise over run to find the next point. So in this first example, it says graph the line. It has a slope of 4. So our slope is 4 and then our point negative 2, negative 8. So negative 2, negative 8 is all the way down here. So I'm going to plot that first. And then if I know my slope is 4, remember we can recall slope as being the rise over the run. Well, 4 was a whole number. If I want to put it into a fraction, I can put any number into a fraction by writing it over 1. So that's going to mean that my rise every time from a point needs to be 4. So I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. 
and then my run is just going to need to be one box. So that's going to mean that the next point on my line is going to be right here at negative 1, negative 4. And then I can continue doing that. So I can go up 4 and then over 1 and that puts me right on the origin. So there's another point. I'm going to keep counting up. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then over 1 up 1, 2, 3, 4, and run of 1. So you can do this until you have enough points to pick up your ruler and draw the line. And then that's going to provide us with enough points to connect the dots here and draw our graph. So I'm going to do that. You can use your ruler to draw that neatly on your notes. And then there is your line that has a slope of 4 and passes through the point negative 2, negative 8. So because this graph does go through the origin, we know that it's going to be written in y equals mx form, and our slope that they gave us was 4, so the rule for this line would be y equals 4x. Now the second strategy that's listed up there for this would be to create the equation in the form y equals mx using the given slope, and then create a table of values using the rule, and then plot the points. So because they tell us in this next one that this graph will have a slope of 1 fourth and pass through the point negative 4, negative 1, that can help us figure out um, a table of values here. So we know that right now we're just focusing on those proportional relationships. So we could have this rule be y equals 1 fourth x. And if I want to plug in that point of negative 4, remember you can put any number over 1, so 4 or negative 4 times 1 would be negative 4. On the denominator, positive 4. When you divide that, you get negative 1. So there's that first point. So negative 4, negative 1 would be right here. Remember, I always said it's a good idea to plug in 0 as a possible x value. So we can say y should equal 1 fourth times 0. Anything times 0, though, is 0. So that's telling us that our graph does go through the origin. We can plug in the point 1. If I plug in 1, 1 fourth times 1 would just be 1 fourth. So that one's a little bit tricky to plot. If you had 1 and then you were up 1 fourth, it'd be like just a quarter of the way up through that block. So that one's kind of hard to see. So an easier one that might be good to plot would be maybe if we plug in 8. So if we do y equals 1 fourth times 8, that would be 8 over 1. When we simplify that, 8 over 4 equals 2. So that means a point on our graph would be 8, 2. Now we also know that our slope was 1 fourth. And if we recall rise over run, our rise should be 1 and our run should be 4. So we can go and check to make sure we plotted those right. So for every time we go up 1 in our rise, we need to be able to go and run 4. So if we check that, that was correct. Again, if I run 1, I should be able to, or if I rise 1, I should be able to run 4. So that would be another point on our line. And then if I rise one more and run four, there's my other point. So all of those points look like they're going to be creating that nice linear graph that we wanted to put there. And then you can just use your ruler to connect your dots there. So again, I'm going to use my line tool, but you can pick up your ruler and connect those dots. If we do that, we should get a nice straight line through all of the points we drew and or in the origin there, so we do know that that is a proportional graph there.